Well, we know those fitness trackers are wildly popular, but in a strange twist, they could be putting our servicemen and women at risk. So now the Pentagon is ordering a review after data from the trackers revealed the exact location of troops in dangerous areas. Tonight, Dominic Garcia is at the Strava office in Denver, Dom. Many of the troops were using that company's app. Jim, just last week we were covering this company coming to Colorado. This week the circumstances are a little more controversial. Critics say this comes down to safety and in the wrong hands this information could be dangerous. It was a 20-year-old on Twitter who made the discovery. A global heat map put out by the company Strava, which just opened an office in Denver. It showed several years of satellite tracking data uploaded from Fitbits and other devices. It took us seconds to really, you know, gather some information that really should not be publicly available. Any child can do this. Here's the problem. It appears to show the activity around U.S. bases overseas in places like Afghanistan, Iraq, and Africa. Security experts say this makes it easier for the enemy to track U.S. soldiers. So we can not only find out, you know, how many soldiers are broadly stationed there, but we can find out how do they move, you know, how do they connect with other bases, what kind of patrol routes do they have around the area. If you're using this in the middle of nowhere... Michael Pregian is with the Hudson Institute and said this information could be used as the blueprint for an assault on a base. Look at the level of activity along this strip, along this route. As an enemy, I would focus every motor attack, every rocket attack in this area right here, just based on the, that graphic. The Department of Defense says they take these matters very seriously, and they're reviewing the situation to determine if any additional training or guidance is required. That's from his office here in Denver. We'll create about 100 jobs. We did reach out to them for comment, but we have not heard back. In Denver, Dominic Garcia, CBS4 News.